Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. So we're starting things off with a clip from PewDiePie, literally the biggest individual content creator on the YouTube platform, who called out Amy Schumer. He was talking about how she said that people did not like her comic because they really hate women, and PewDiePie found this ridiculous and called her out on it, and many other things that she has said in the past. He mentions how she makes a huge deal of people calling her fat, yet she has been seen shaming people for being skinny. PewDiePie says that he hates how she hides behind being an SJW, but then goes completely against it when it does not involve her, for example. PewDiePie had a lot of things in the video that made Schumer look pretty stupid, actually. So why I'm so annoyed with Amy is that she's hiding behind this banner of social justice and that she's such a great person, you know? But she's literally just like everyone else, which is fine, by the way, but she's the kind of person that, oh, if someone calls her fat, it's a huge deal and you're body shaming, but she'll literally body shame other people for being too- For this next clip, we have iDubs who found an interesting project, which was a feminist book. The book was all about victimhood, as iDubs says, and he believes that this book is a misleading people into thinking that it's only women that can be victims. Obviously, this is incorrect, and it paints the picture that it is women that have completely just tough lives, while men don't have anything really difficult going on for them. He made a good point in the end of it, just have a listen. Project is a photo book all about victimhood. Victimhood? What are you talking about, iDubs? Oh, no, no, it's not a victimhood photo book, it's a feminist photo book. What's the difference? Hello. If you would just wear makeup, you'd look so much better. Nine times out of 10, said by a woman to another woman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I get it, I get it. Feminism is for everyone. But why does it gotta be a feminist book? Yeah, everyone has the ability to be hurtful. But not everyone, ha every, but only women have the ability to be victims? Like, it's, you, you see the problem. Next up, we have another one from PewDiePie. He is talking about a Bud Light advert that involves comedian Amy Schumer. Now, Schumer was a bit of an SJW in this advert when she said that Bud Light costs the same whether you are a man or a woman, and why can't all things be like that? Which is a bit of a weird comment to make, but anyway. She mentioned earlier that women pay more for things, and PewDiePie was absolutely baffled and made loads of fun of her statements. PewDiePie teases Schumer for those statements, and they were quite outrageous. I think PewDiePie just couldn't resist making fun of what she says, and honestly, who can blame him? Just, he had to poke off some fun at this SJW commentary. It's ridiculous what she actually said. Bud Light proudly supports equal pay. That's why Bud Light costs the same no matter if you're a dude or a lady. Are you kidding me? What? Oh, I never thought of that. that. Have I told you about my chair, by the way? It's three ninety nine. I know. What a great price. But it costs the same if you're a boy and a girl, you might think. Excuse me, we are not some progressive liberal Amy Schumer. So this one is a hilarious skit from a YouTuber who perfectly captured what SJWs are like nowadays, whether it be a feminist or other types of SJWs. In this skit, the main character gets offended by literally anything, even the smallest things that are not even really that rude or offensive at all. But that is just the world we live in today for all those woke SJWs out there. When you see this, you will find out that the YouTuber gets all of this spot on, and it was really funny. SJWs get really triggered by some of the most ridiculous things on the planet. They just make these weird connections that aren't really there, and you'll see that in this skit. Hi. Excuse me? Oh, I, I was just saying hi. No, I heard what you said, but it wasn't consensual, so it's considered rape. I need your consent to greet you. I thought it was sex that had to be consensual. Are you mansplaining me right now? Mansplaining? It's when a man, you, explains anything to anyone that isn't a man. That is some dumbass shit. Yo, you crazy, lady. Lady? Did you just assume my gender? What are you? I am super non-conforming, L-sexual, reverse trans, optic gender. There's only two genders. Triggered! Next up, we have Leon Lush speaking about a woman who came on Good Morning Britain, and this SJW argued that young women hate when men open doors for them and call them lady and whatnot. In other words, she thinks that women hate it when men are being respectful and gentlemanly to them. Where I think that the ladies first thing becomes quite patronizing, and certainly a younger generation of women really think so. I did a kind of straw poll in my office yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Things just took a turn. The younger women feel really passionate about it. It's because they feel it comes with a whole load of other assumptions. Mm. So the kind of man who might go, 
ladies first or pull out your chair or um, very much pay for dinner. It's Piers Morgan and the YouTuber found this absolutely ridiculous. I mean, there's probably some substance to it, but not all women. You can't generalize like that. So the YouTuber then broke down how ridiculous this statement was and called out this SJW for making something an issue out of nothing when there's really literally nothing wrong with that. In fact, it is something that should be encouraged more and continue to be taught, but instead this feminist thinks that it's belittling women completely. The YouTuber explains that men being gentlemanly is a good thing and should be encouraged much more. The woman's statements really surprised him that he had to make a whole video about it because it was rather crazy what happened. I was always raised to believe that the little things count, you know, like the opening the car door for your lady, the holding the door at the restaurant, taking the jacket, pulling out the chair, little things like that. <clears throat> little things that show, you know, a sign of respect and a sign of admiration or love if you're in a relationship. It doesn't always have to be a relationship, but just... And finally, we're ending things off with the YouTuber at Tozy, who made comments on another YouTuber who is quite a bit of an SJW. The YouTuber is Lily Singh, and she had some things to say about the lack of women in the 2019 Forbes list, which is an honest thing to talk about. However, she tried to claim that the lack of women in the list indicates there is a sexism and that the world is going backwards when it comes to this issue. Atozi made, though, some very good points and just completely debunked Lily's rather ridiculous claims and arguments because there was no backing behind them. Take a look for yourself. It's almost even between male and female. Last year, it was just me, and this year, there are no females at all. Something I predicted in my Instagram caption last year, I'm concerned that the digital space is going to repeat the mistakes of ancient industries. Hope I'm wrong. Wow. I mean, this could have all easily been avoided. Like, instead of her original tweets, it could have been something like, oh, I see there's no women on the list. Come on, women. Let's do better for 2019. You know, just insert something that you could put under as the hashtag motivational and just pop it out there without saying somehow that YouTube is turning sexist when literally the CEO of YouTube is a woman. Like, what is going on? And so, yeah, that's it, guys. Those are some YouTubers versus some really cringe SJWs out there. Thank you for watching the video. Video, though if you did enjoy it then feel free to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and much more goodbye for now everyone and we'll see you in the next one